are going to be doing a live unboxing of a most our most recent AG haul. We actually did unbox the twins earlier and now we're gonna do another unboxing. I had some rewards of course when the twins weren't when the twins released we didn't have our rewards and then we got them later. It's interesting how American Girl does that. But now I also have some stuff on the top on this side that are actually from Christmas that I didn't have a chance to unbox on a video, but it's okay. So we're just going to wait for people to show up and show everything what we got. So on the left side, we have Claudie's, one of Claudie's HFR outfits, as well as the World Traveler collection. We have the Fun on the Slope travel outfit and Fun in the City travel outfit. Ava, hey, what's up? Thanks for joining us. We're just going to be unboxing a bunch of stuff. And also, we have a mystery Truly Me doll in the back corner on the right. So, put your guesses down below. And then, I'm just going to continue with what we got. We also have Isabel and Nikki's desk down there. I could not resist. When I saw it in person... Oh, hey, Robin, what's up? When I saw this in person, my mom and I both loved it. And we just had to get it later. And then, on this side, on the right, we have Nikki's skateboarding outfit. As well as two Truly Me accessory packs. And we have... The mystery truly meet on the back. So let us know which item you'd like to see first. Would you like to see an outfit, a desk, maybe the mystery doll? Robin says, how are you? We're doing good, Robin. We actually are, well, where we live, it's kind of cloudy, but it's not raining. It's kind of weird because we've been having rain for a couple days. And right now it is just cloudy and foggy, no rain at all. But yeah, we had some rewards for the top three. Those are actually from Christmas, and I just didn't get to unbox them. And then uh, these, the basically the desk and the Truly Me items, I got separately recently. Ava says, it's cold where I live. Wow, well, it's been cold, like, everywhere, to be honest. So, it's very interesting how the weather has changed. Like, sometimes it's snowing, sometimes it's raining. And, basically, we just have base. We actually have some winter outfits also up here, which is kind of funny. Robin says, I'm glad you are good. It is snowing here again. Oh, my gosh. I could not do that, <laughs> honestly, Robin. I would, I would, I don't think I could live in the snow. I am cold, like... I get cold just, like, all the time in regular, you know, 60-degree weather. I wouldn't make it in the snow. <laughs> yeah, I'm too much of a baby. So let us I know what you guys want to see first. Would you like to see the big item or the little outfit or maybe the doll in the corner? She's one of the new Truly Me dolls. Kind of giving you a hint. I believe we said in one or two of our videos we did want her, and she was back ordered for a, the longest time. And now she's marked as limited quantities. Can you guess which one we got? And I just think that she's an adorable doll. And I don't know if they're going to like. Like retire her. Or they're just going to say limited quantities. Because she's been backordered all the time. I don't know how that works sometimes. Robin says, is it 122? Oh, that was close. We did want 122, and unfortunately, <laughs> we did. I got her for Christmas, but I did not unbox her on the channel. I hope to share, share her in a future video. I actually got a few Truly Me's for Christmas from the Amazon sale. My mom bought them. It was a really cool Cyber Monday deal where they were like, I believe, $60 each. I got like I believe I got four new Truly Me dolls for Christmas, so I hope to show those ladies in a future video. Sadly, I have not been able to. I've been really busy with the Twins release and also all these releases. Sometimes it's hard to catch up. And I did open them, and I really, I really thought they're adorable, but I have not shown them on the channel yet. So that was a good guess, Robin. Robin says, oh, cool. I think she is cute with her bangs. Yeah, we really love her. She is an adorable doll, especially in person. Definitely, I think she is the cute, one of the cutest Truly Me's that they released. 
But I have to say one because they released so many, like, when they did the revamp. But I believe that she is one of our top favorites. Like, if we had to do a top five, I think she's adorable. So I'm just going to show some of the clothes so we can just kind of see what we got. We're going to move a little closer. Woo! And I'm not going to show this part yet because I want you guys to guess who we got. But let us go on this side. First, we got Claudie's HFR outfit. Ava said, Kit is coming back. Yeah, I have heard about that, Ava. I wasn't sure if it was a rumor, but then someone said it was official. So I am very curious to see what's going to happen with Kit's collection. Let us know in the comment section what you guys want Kit, like which item from Kit's collection do you want to come back. I personally would like to see some of the older sets that Kit had, including her, like some of her older outfits. And just a lot of the nice detailed sets that they released. I always like seeing the sets, honestly. This is Kaladi's HFR outfit. Not going to open that yet. What do you guys want to see open first? This is Fun on the Slopes travel outfit. It was part of the World Traveler collection. I thought it was very interesting that they did modern Trilini outfits in the World Travel collection. Because usually they've been focusing on the, like... Around the world Doing type outfits, too. and uh, it's kind of weird that they decided not to for that. It's fine. I'm done with that one, Lonnie. Okay. This one is Fun in the City travel outfit. And Ava says her original outfit and a better typewriter. Yeah, the, the typewriter AG made recently was really bad. But what are you going to do? And then Robin says, oh, could we see that one first? Which one? The Claudia outfit, Robin? This one? The, uh, what's this one called? Jazzy flapper and fur coat outfit. Kind of interesting that she had kind of modern type outfits instead of, like, historical outfits. Not a lot of people were. <laughs> they were kind of upset that they didn't have, like, set items for her. Okay, Robin says yes, so let's go ahead and open this. Thanks, Robin, for the first request. Ooh. Here we have the box, and we're just going to move a teen to be closer, so you guys can see. And then I'm going to open it. And just go ahead and go down, so you guys can see. Yeah, I think it's really cool that Kid is coming back. I do hope that the rumors are true about Kirsten coming back. Mm, yes. But we have not heard much about Kirsten, so we're not quite sure. First up, we have the adorable fur coat, and this is so, so, so cute. And this is just like, I don't know what type of faux fur this is, but this is just so nice. I like that it's like, I don't know, like curly or like a, I don't know what that's called. It's a really interesting fur texture, mm -hmm. and it has like this lining inside, which kind of crinkles a lot, if you can hear that. And then on the back, it goes all the way around. It is so soft. Robin says, I hope Kirsten comes back too. Yes, we love Kirsten and I'd love to see a lot of her items come back because I didn't, it's really hard to get Kirsten items to be honest. A lot of the <laughs> historicals, their outfits are really impossible to get. This is the teal dress. Sorry, I'm trying to get in the full frame. Robin says it looks so soft. It's not as soft as some of the other things that I've seen before that American Girl has put out though. And this is a beautiful dress. I love the detail on this. There's like really nice lace trim. And I love just how detailed it is. And then of course there's a clear American Girl in the corner. The tag. And you have Velcro on the back. You have to be really careful with this because it can snag since it is like a satin type of material. And then we have these little shoes. These are cute, but I think they could have done better. But I understand they're trying to do classy shoes. They kind of got a little heel in the back. So they're just basic black heels. Robin says they sure are hard to find. Yes, any retired American girl outfits, they're really hard to find. And I actually have, I think Kirsten is one of the historicals. I just don't have a lot of her clothes. Okay. Like some of the outfits just aren't... I, they're just really hard to get. I do have a couple of her outfits, but some of them I don't have complete. Here we have the bow, which is really a nice teal color. It matches the dress, and it's got a little clip in the back. 
So cute. And we're going to put that on a doll. Let me grab a doll real quick so you guys can see it on a doll. And also in the background, let us know what you want open, unboxed next. Anything at all. The uh, Trilini outfits. We have the Fun in the Slopes. We have the Fun in the City outfit down here. Or we have Nikki's skateboarding outfit or some Truly Me accessories. And Robin says that is a very nice outfit. Yes, thanks, Robin. It is really pretty. I think it's worth the $48, but I understand not everyone can pay that, so try to use rewards when you can. I do think that the fur coat is also a different texture from what we've seen before. Course Girl 2.0. I'm excited for the Snow Slopes one. Yeah, I thought I really like that one too because it's oh, pink one. or kind of a peachy pink. I think. Okay, it's and Robin says, "How about the snowsuit?" So we're gonna open that one next. But while we're doing that, I just wanted to bring in our twin, Miss Isabel, and she was renamed to Annalise. Hello, and she's just so adorable. Look at how cute she is. She's going to be modeling the Claudia outfit. If you wouldn't mind dressing mm, no her, Mommy, while we open the Fun in the Slopes outfit. Now, what's interesting about this outfit is a lot of people thought it was interesting that they went a different route for the World Travel Collection because usually they would, you know, do places around the world. And I thought it was very weird. And then Ava says, hi, Isabel. Yep, I finally renamed her. It took me a long time to figure out her name. Her sister, Nikki, is renamed Anna, and then her name is Annalise, so I kind of wanted something similar. I know it's probably not a popular 90s name, but I thought it was really cute. Here is the snowsuit. It's not even going to fit in the full frame, but this is really nice. I have looked at this briefly. And it's basically got some fur trim, faux fur trim on the neck, and then you have it on the little cuffs, and then on the bottom is like they're kind of flared and it's really this is really nice and it's just like that kind of shiny i'm not sure what that material is called what is that called like a waterproof type of material that they make jackets out of or anything that you would wear in winter wear and then you situation. have a fall belt and then horse girl 2.0 said that is so cute thank you and it is really adorable Ava says, nice quality, and Robin says, wow, I like that. It is actually really much nicer in person. It is hard to tell on the live stream camera how, like, you have to go way back, but that's how long it is. It's pretty long. And the fur on that is soft. It is very soft, yeah. I think the, the one for Claudia, like, here, let's do a quick comparison. The one for Claudia is just a different type of faux fur. It's, mm -hmm. like, it is almost, like, I don't know, like kind of like poodle, like I mean, not real, but real poodle. Or like alpaca. Yeah, it's just it's a different texture completely, and this is more like very, very, very smooth, and then this one's just kind of like textured and curly. I'm not sure how to exactly explain. And then of course it's got a zipper. We're just gonna go ahead and open it, and it goes all the way down. And then you can easily slip the doll in. I don't know if this belt will get in the way. We're gonna have to see with that. Oh, I see. It actually Velcros, so you can easily take it apart. Because I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so that is the little snowsuit. This is adorable. I can't wait to try this on Miss Annalise, which was Isabel. Next, we have these adorable boots. These are my favorite part of the outfit Cute. because you don't have to use these with the snowsuit. You could use them with any outfit you want. This is a a beautiful furry pink boot and it's got this really high fur it's really really high up there and then you have a boot underneath and of course it's got a little heel an american girl on the bottom and you have velcro on the back so it's easy to put that shoe on because sometimes shoes can be hard and robin says i'm glad the belt opens that yeah i was i was like wait a second i was like a little <laughs> confused on that and horse girl says love the boots yeah the boots are definitely my favorite part of the outfit personally and then in here we have, whoop, we have some more accessories. We have the pamphlet, which I love seeing these little pamphlets. Sometimes the, I remember in Pleasant Company days they would do this. And I think this is so cool that they brought this back. This one says, pack your bags, get ready for adventure. And then it kind of shows you 
which different adventures you can have with their outfits. You have Beach, Chic, Winter Wonderland, and Jet Setter. And then this one, I think, just talks about getting ready for your seven-day trip, which is really nice. It kind of tells you, kind of gives you an idea what to pack for a week trip. And then travel tips, that's cute. And then that is, also, they have a suitcase with this collection, which is cool. And then that's the back. That's really cute. And then let me open the little snow goggles. Let me see if I can get this open. Here's the snow goggles. This is so cute. It's got a little elastic that says American Girl all the way around and it stretches easily so you can get it over the doll's head. And they're kind of like holographic in the inside so they look shiny. That's really cute. And then we have the gloves, which I believe are just nothing special, too special about the gloves. I think it would have been nice to have fur around it, like fur trim, but they just gave them little pink gloves, which are knit, but it's still cute, and they're stretchy, so you can easily put it over the doll's hand. I just think it would have been cool to see the fur trim continue with the gloves, but I guess they did a lot already with that. And then let us know what you want to open next. We have the Two Truly Me accessories. We got Nikki's skateboarding outfit over here, the desk, or we have the Fun in the City travel outfit while we get the dolls dressed. So how are you guys doing? How's your week? <laughs> Little rainy or snowy or just cold <laughs> in general? Let me see if I can... Put this to the side. It has definitely been really cold weather. Actually, shocking weather. Like, it has never been this cold this long. Robin says, how about the desk? Okay, the big item. So give us a quick sec. We're going to get some stuff out of the way. Let me see if I can get to the desk. So how does Miss Annalise look in the coat? Oh, uh, she looks really adorable. So we're going to put her in the frame. Here she is, Miss Annalise, all dressed in the coat. Let's move back a bit. There you go. You can see her better. She looks really cute. Can't see her perfectly, like head to toe, but she looks absolutely adorable. I actually really like the blue on her. The, the color blue on her and Robin says it's been sewing a lot this week here I bet it's it's probably freezing cold where you live and then Robin also said we're in the top 10 for snowfall this year wow top 10 Robin also <laughs> said oh wow she looks so cute doesn't she look adorable I think she looks adorable I think she's so cute in this Ajax Studios, so cute. I agree. Hey, thanks for joining us. Thanks yeah. for joining us, everyone. And uh, if you have any questions about any of the items, let us know. But this Go. is Annalise. Here you go. Okay. Uh, you want to put her in the ski outfit next? Uh huh. Sure. I am going to open the desk. I've been excited to open the desk. I'll just um, put this here. Okay. So you can go ahead and put that on. And I'm going to move the desk toward us. This is a big item. This is really heavy, surprisingly. Look at how cute this is. This is the box. You got Isabel and Nikki logos. A, A Jag Studio says, open the desk. Yep, we're gonna open that next. And she says, I love the desk. Yes, the desk is really cute. I think this item, when we saw it in person, I wasn't expecting to like it that much, to be <laughs> honest. I was like, oh, it kind of looks, from the promo pics, it just looked a little cheap, but honestly, it's really a, a cool item. So, we have actually, ne we have never even looked at this. A lot of the outfits we have looked at, but this desk we have not looked at. So, we're going to open it, our first time opening it with you guys. Yeah. Let me see Let's if I can see. get it open. So, have you guys gotten anything recently from American Girl? Because I know the, uh, what was it? February rewards and the March rewards have gone out, and it's really great to just buy stuff with your rewards. Also, they have a coupon for $20 off. 
Yeah, in the catalog, I believe, just in case you guys didn't get it, I believe it was AG Treats, although there are some exclusions, just letting you guys know. For whatever reason, they love doing their exclusions. It's like, oh my goodness, AG, really? <laughs> they exclude usually all the new stuff, which can be annoying a lot of times. Wow, look at that. So we're going to move some of this stuff out of the way. We're going to bring that back. Let's, let me put this downward so you guys don't see what doll this is. There we go. We're going to open her a little bit later. And just, it's really big. This desk is huge. So we're going to put you a little closer. And we're going to open it. So we're going to open this up. Robin says, I was able to get Isabel and Nikki. I love historicals the best. Well, congratulations on your new dolls, Robin. They're really cute dolls. And it's just nice to be able to, I just like getting historical dolls the best as well. I know some of you will agree, although the Truly Me dolls are cute too. First up, we got the rug. I believe this is the yin and yang rug. Everything has to be in tight packaging with American Girl as well. You know what's interesting about this rug is they didn't make it like textured, like a kind of a soft furry rug, which I was surprised that they didn't do that. So that's the rug. Sorry, I can't get it fully in the camera. I also was sad that they didn't do like a smiley face rug or I don't know I kind of was disappointed with the rug to be honest. I wanted like a big daisy something like that. AJ, AJ Studio says I sadly have not but I got the My Life as art set. Hey, that's okay, AJX Studio. Sometimes we can't always afford to get something from the American Girl, but My Life Ass stuff is amazing, and that's really cute stuff, and it's hard to find, too. Yeah, they're good. they're pretty good. I mean, we just bought um, a little pink outfit from them. And Robin says, yes, they are all cute. Yeah, a lot of the historical dolls are just really adorable. We're going to put this to the side, and then we're going to take this out. I don't know what... Oh, the chairs first. Hold on, let me get the chair out. Whoop. Do you want some help with that? No, I think I got the chair. It's just all tangled mm -hmm. in packaging. There we go. Yeah, let us know which, what did you think of the historical release? If you didn't already say your thoughts, like what was your favorite piece? And how about the Christmas truck? What, um, the Christmas truck. The ice cream truck. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, that was a really interesting release. I was surprised that American Girl released an ice cream truck because our generation did such a good job with theirs. So I was like, wow, I couldn't believe that they were, they did that. And also, it was interesting that they also did it with the collab. They did it with Jenny's ice cream instead of, like, just a regular American Girl truck. Or why not Baskin Robbins or something? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know on that one. But do you have the scissors? I don't well, know. The scissors I, I put the scissors second. somewhere. Gotcha, hang on. No, it's fine. I don't know. Wow, this is really on there. Okay, hold on, guys. <laughs> Trying to get the chair open. Okay, hang on. Here, oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, Robin says the chair is a nice bright color. Yeah, we love the chair. The chair is really nice yellow, but the problem with this chair is there is only one chair for two dolls. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Robin says, I like the ice cream stuff. Yeah, the ice cream stuff is like really adorable. It's kind of interesting though that they did a collaboration instead of just, you know, making plain ice cream. But I understand they do collabs with other companies. And it's interesting because I've never heard of Jenny's Ice Cream personally. And a lot of people that I have kind of heard about talking about the ice cream, they're like, they weren't, they never tried Jenny's Ice Cream either or it wasn't in their neighborhood. So I thought that was interesting. There is a Jenny's Ice Cream in Los Angeles. We're going to check it out the next time we go to American Girl, so. Yeah, that's one thing we were hoping. My mom was like, hey, we should check it out. And I was like, yeah, we could. I just never heard of Jenny's ice cream. So the chair basically is just yellow. It is plastic, nothing metal on it. Even the little legs are plastic. But it is a nice chair. I really like the color. They've never made anything like this. Well, except for Pleasant Company days. 
Ava, that's cool. Uh, she said, I just purchased the Pizza Hut set with my rewards points. That's what I'm talking about, Ava. Exactly. Awesome. Use those rewards because, you know, it's free. It's like, well, it's not free money because you basically pay for stuff. But it's a great way to use your rewards. Ajax Studios, I like the ice cream stuff. And Nikki and Isabel are cute. And I like Nikki's stuff a little a little bit more, LOL. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. I think I kind of like the... Homage to the Pleasant Company Girl of Today items. I just wish there was more of it, just like other people. I know a lot of people are kind of hoping for Girl of Today outfits. Sadly, we didn't get any. I'm just hoping for that in the future. I think that'd be really cool. Gonna move this box out of the way so I can get the desk out. Oh, gonna slide it out. Oh, oh. Oops, sorry, Mommy. It's okay. Hey. There's Annalise <laughs> in the little skiing outfit. Hold on, let me move the camera. That's okay. Finish what you're doing. Here, let me help you. I think there's just instructions. Oh, no, there's okay. paper in here. Oh, you dropped some shoes. Okay. Let's just move this box out of the way. Let's see if I can get this box. Oop, there it goes. Robin says, oh, I love that on her, huh? She looks so cute. So let's excuse the packaging. Here is a Miss Annalise. And she looks adorable. There we go. Full view of her. She looks so cute. I actually really like the color of this little snowsuit. I think that's such a perfect color. It's kind of like a mixture between baby pink and what is that? I don't know. Peach? Yeah, like kind of, it's like baby pink, but not. It has a little bit of darker pinks in there. And I just love how cute Miss Annalise looks in it. Look at how cute. There she is without the little goggles. And she looks adorable. Oh my gosh, it is so cute on her. And she's like ready for the snow weather. So if she is going to go in the snow, she's ready to go. So I'm just going to put her to the side and go ahead and finish opening the desk, which is a Hi. big piece. Off the slope. So let's see if I can find this thing. Oh, this is trash. I think her green eyes look so pretty with this uh, color. Oh yeah, I think her green eyes are one of the best features of Isabel. I think it's sad because a lot of people what thought she could have been it? a little bit more unique. Okay, so let's get the desk out there. Now this is actually like a, I don't know if it's real wood, but it is wood. And I think it's really cool that they did not do this plastic. They didn't wimp out on this one. <laughs> so let me move all the packaging out of the way. So we're gonna move the desk out and here is the desk. This is a really, really nice desk. I think this looks really cool. You have two little, I guess you could call them slots or like puzzle pieces type of thing. And that's where the little, I don't know what they're called, files, files or yeah, like CD organizers go. And then this is the back of the desk and it's just really nice. It's white so you could use it for several of your doll room setups. And I think it's so cool. So we're gonna just put that there, the chair. And everything comes packaged. So you're gonna have to take a few, you know, an hour or two to get everything <laughs> undone. So here's the computer. And the computer is like really cool. The computer you guys have, is some of you may have seen at the American Girl Place in Los Angeles where we showed it to you live. I just love how detailed it is. There's keys. It has sound, delete, shift, control. I think that is so cool. It even has a little CD or floppy disk slot and I think that's really nice and it even has little fake well I'm not sure if those are real or fake speakers and it's got an on and a volume button and then on the back it's a giant computer of course and there's just so many details look that's all like where the plugs would go I think that's so cute that they actually did a real plug and then it's just so it's just very well detailed and I think this is one of those nice pieces from their collection oh look at how cute this is the little mouse and it is actually separate. It does click, if you can hear that. And it does go on to 
the side. I did not know this at the American Girl Play. So basically you take this and it goes right in the side of the keyboard. That's cool. So if you, you don't want to lose it. And also that's cool so you can take it off and maybe if you don't want it there, you could take it off and use it for something else. I think that's actually cool. I did not know that. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the desk. Maybe that you didn't get to, to get answered at the store or maybe if you just had questions that you thought of recently because sometimes that happens. And here we have the adorable phone. It says American Girl. That's so cute. And then it's just like this very, I don't know, it's kind of a, almost like a bluish purple, like a blue purple. I guess, what is that, periwinkle? Mm-hmm. It looks like that. And it says talk, and it has little numbers. Oh, let me see if I can focus. There it goes. How cute. And it has numbers and speaker, and it's just one of those giant phones that they had back in the day because they didn't have cell phones until later. And it's going to go there. Oh, we can put it over here just in case someone needs to call. And this is just adorable. This is actually really cuter, much cuter in person. And I love how also heavy this desk feels. It's really nice. Just kind of turn it this way so you guys can see. Let me know if you guys want to see a close-up of anything or have any questions. Here we have the Alien Cup. What's interesting about this cup is a lot of people actually remember that they did a lot of alien merch back in the late 90s, and I did not know that, honestly. I think he looks kind of scary to me, to be honest. <laughs> I think he does look scary. I know some people actually wanted it, and I was like, really? But it's okay. I mean, what are you going to do? And then here, the phone. The phone. Robin says, does the phone make sounds? Unfortunately, it doesn't. It is just stationary. It does not do anything. You can't even push the button, sadly. They don't do anything. It's just for Aww. basic, like, it's just for looks, I guess you can say. Oh, now it won't focus. Hold on. There it goes. It's just for play. Sadly, the buttons, I think it would have been cool if it didn't, if it at least didn't make sounds that it could have maybe had button pushing or maybe just, maybe just one sound, like ringing or something. I don't know why mm -hmm. they didn't do that. It's so sad. That's a bummer. But it's so sorry. Yeah, that's. That's a great question, Robin, but sadly it doesn't. Robin said, oh, okay, thank you, no problem. Oops, something fell. Oh. Here we have the, I'm sure there's a, a phrase for it, I'm sure, in the instructions, but this is like the file cabinet or like the disc holder, and this is like a very dark blue, so like a navy, and it's got a white top, and then it's supposed to go in here like a little puzzle, and what's great about this is you can switch them around, Robin says, yes, that is sad. I know, isn't that sad? I did not know the phone didn't work, but I guess I should have known because I was just so excited about the twins, but the phone didn't work at the AG store. Here is the other one, the CD disc holder, and it's basically pink, and then it has a white top. It's interesting that they made them different colors. I think that's kind of cool because both twins have different color preferences. Oh, there goes the cup. Here we go. So you can see how that looks. Isn't that cute? And then we're just going to pull that closer. Yeah, I think that was interesting. They should have made the phone work, but I guess they put all the effort into the computer. And um, my mom is just opening up everything. Thank you, Mommy. No she's problem. Opening up the packaging. <laughs> she's focused. That's why she's quiet. <laughs> Here we have the two CDs. Mm. We have Nikki Mix and Isabel Mix. How cute. And it says, no. what does it say on there? It says brand new world, no sunshine, and rebel dreams. I really like all the little stars and the safety pin on Nikki's. That's the back. Cute. And it has a little CD case. And it goes in there. Wait, wait, let's see if I can do it. Maybe I'm doing it upside down. Do you no, I'm not. Put this oh, in there here? it goes. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Let me see. And then this closes. That is really cool. I have heard that people said that they can't get these open easily. <laughs> I personally don't have a problem, but someone said it was with Nikki's bedroom set, not this. So I don't oh, know okay. if this is different, but I believe this can go in here. Oh, oh, oh it's falling. <laughs> and this is easy. You just slide it in there, whatever slot you want, and you pull it out. So it doesn't, it doesn't take too much force. You just kind of slide it in, and it stays there. It floats. I think that's cool. I've never seen that before. I wonder if those were... It must be historically accurate. I have no idea if those were a thing. 
Then this is Isabelle's mix, and it says Jump For It, Starshine, and Butterfly Queen. I love the flowers on it, and then you have a green CD case. And we're going to pop that in there. And I think that is how it goes in. Yeah, it goes in with these little circle thingies. I'm not sure what that's called, a disc holder, because I don't think the, yeah, the other side, it just closes like yeah. that. And that's really cute. And then what's great is that it, it's interesting how this floats. I have never seen this. I think that's cool. Oh, I see. You're supposed to put it so you yeah. can see. Oh, actually, it doesn't say anything on the binding. It says made in China. You guys probably can't see that. <laughs> it says made in China. There's nothing. I think it would have been cool if there was a title. I don't know if you guys can see, but it says made in China. I think it would have been nice to have a title on the discs. Robin says, the desk looks pretty sturdy. I like that. Yeah, the desk is actually really nice quality. I hate to say this, American Girl has kind of been lacking in the quality for their sets lately. Robin says, that's cool. It is really cool. Next up, we have this adorable frame, and it has Isabel and Nikki together as dolls. They didn't do it like a cartoon. I think that's really cool. It's got two stars in the corner, and then this is removable, so you could put in whatever you want on that. You got an American Girl of Today little mouse pad. This is really cute. I love how colorful it is. It reminds me of all the merch and items they made for the American Girl of Today back in the nine, late 90s. And I think that is so cute that they did a mouse pad like that. And these are the floppy disks you have. Oh, let's see if it focuses. Hold on. You got tennis pictures and it's pink. This is really cute. And then the other one says top secret with little alien and it's um it's really detailed look at that it's like has all the little tiny bits and How pieces cute. that is just adorable and what, what's interesting is there's no place to actually put these like to store them you could put them in here but the problem is this is so big like they would fall out if you don't keep track of them so. or put them in the computer well that's true you could put them in the computer it was just interesting that they didn't do a little storage area for them maybe because there's only one slot, so you would have to keep watch of the other one. <laughs> so it also comes in and out really easily. So if you tip the computer over, it does pop out. So that's one thing to be careful. If something falls, this will just immediately pop out. And this is just adorable. This little picture frame of the, those two, that's so cute. It is adorable. And there's 10 people in right now. If you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up, it helps our channel. We're trying to hit to a thousand subscribers right now. We're <laughs> we like are trying very hard. A hundred and two off. It's been a little rough, but it's okay. We appreciate all of you that are <laughs> yes, here right now. Thank you. And we just appreciate all of our subscribers currently. So we're glad that we're growing and we appreciate all your views and all your sweet comments. And we're gonna be giving doing a giveaway also when we reach a thousand. So here we have these sticker sheets. This one, I guess, is themed to, more to Nikki, and the other one, I guess, is themed to Isabel. This is really cute. I love the American Girl Today logo. It's kind of sad because once you sticker these on, you know, they, they can peel or get old. So I don't know if I will stick these on, but these are really cute. I think that they should have made more stickers, like, for the, uh, when you went to the store to give out for free, personally. Robin says, aw, cute. And Ava says, cool stickers. Yeah, the stickers are really awesome. These are glow-in-the-dark stars. Oh, how cute. You can't really see them that well. Let's see if I can focus it. Oh, it kind of focused. You can kind of see the outline of the stars, but those are little star... Little glow-in-the-dark. What? Oh, it's hard to focus. Hold on. There it goes, sort of. There you want And that uh, that's the back. And for the accessories of the desk, this is the tiny, tiny, tiny highlighter. And the cap sadly cannot be removed. I wish that you could cap this, but oh well. You wanna see? Oh. Let me see. Here is the sticker. Sorry if it doesn't focus, because it doesn't like focusing on tiny things. It kind of focused, but it's a really like a yellowish sticker. Yeah, glow in the dark stars. That is so cool because I remember when my daughter was little Daisy that I put glow, glow in the dark stars in her room, but she was born, you know, way after the 90s. So. Oh, yeah. But, <laughs> but it's okay. This is cool. I, they're still, I think you can still get yeah. them today. So yeah. they're really cool. No matter what you're in, yeah. from. <laughs> Here we have little computer, 
I guess, what is this called? Wallpapers? No, 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 no. Like screens. Screens, screens. Thank you. And this one, we've kind of explored these, but this is a little closer detail. Sorry if you can't read it. It's yeah. American Girl Online. And this is kind of like, I think this is supposed to be email and chat. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. And this is really cute. I love how detailed this looks because a lot of the... A lot of the computer screens looked kind of, I hate to say this, they looked a little, I don't know, a little <laughs> older and different back then. This is the Connecting to American Girl Online. Oh, I guess that's just what they have on the top. And this is basically music. It says Nikki Mix, Isabel Mix, and I think that's really cool. I really like that it has both of their music tastes on there. And this is the American Girl Online. It says, quiz, meet Amelia. Now, I don't know much about Amelia. I know a lot of people talk about her, that she had journals, and that was kind of, like, cool because they brought the journals back. So some people actually like the journals. I don't mind the journals. I will probably have to say that in another video, though. This is The Secret Decoder, A Day with Felicity, and you have American Girl Collection. You have quite a bit on here. And this is really cool because I would play American Girl games, not when Amelia was around, but I did play them later on. And sadly, they don't really, they took a lot of the games off of American Girl's website. Here is Felicity. I think this is really cool. This one is my favorite one. I love that they show Felicity and you could have basically like online paper dolls. This I do, don't believe was around when I started going on American Girl's website. I think they already took that down, sadly. And was this the last item? Mm -hmm. Okay, last but not least at the <laughs> desk. This is the pamphlet. This pamphlet is really adorable. Look at how cute that is. It says Isabel and Nikki, and they're hanging out using it. I'm going to put some batteries in the computer. Okay, go for okay. it. Uh, you, you want me to give it to you? Here you go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Thank you. there you go. Robin says, I wonder why they don't have the games anymore. I know, it's kind of sad. sad. They took a lot of the games off. Like, I believe some of the ones I played. Oh, my gosh. I cannot remember one of the ones I really loved. I believe Josefina. it was Josefina. Yeah, Josefina, Santa Fe in the marketplace. Or Josefina, Santa Fe market. I'm not sure what it was uh -huh. called exactly, but you would go around selling stuff. And I thought that was so cool. It would teach you Spanish words. Yeah, it would teach you Spanish stuff. words. And also how much money you kind of had to have to buy everything for... Her papa and I thought that was adorable. And then this is the inside. It kind of talks a little bit about technology, kind of uh, if you're A's, B's. Basically, I guess it's trying to. It's like a little quiz in here. That's kind of cool. And then it says twenty in the internet. And it says thank you for choosing American Girl in the back. That's really nice. I really like these pamphlets. I, it just reminds me. I already said this, but it reminds me of the Pleasant Company days, and I think that's so cool. Ava says they have the American Girl on Roblox. Yeah, I did hear about that. I'm just not a Roblox player. I never have been. I have heard that some people are excited for that. So that's cool if you do use the Roblox. And Robin says, oh, that would be fun to play. Yeah, they have a, real, a lot of really cool games. And sadly, that's just not available. Let's see here if I have everything. So that is everything that is included with the set. And this is adorable. And I think that there was plenty of space for two chairs, but they just decided to do the one. <laughs> I know I keep saying this like a broken record, but I really think it would have been cool to have more than one chair. Let me see. I think you had to put the... The, the uh, thing in? Let me see. Yeah. Why is it? Um, let's see. We're trying to figure out the computer. Yeah, let me read the instructions. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let me see if I can get this on. Okay, now I'm not sure. I did play around with it in American Girl, so I believe you just push this. The volume up is over there. Let me see. Oh, let me see something. Let me see the instructions real mm -hmm. quick. Doesn't really actually tell you much, to be honest. I think I actually might need... 
It says, for the low battery, when beep sound and lights flash, it's time to change the batteries. Oh, I'm not sure if my batteries are strong enough because it's showing a red light. Mm, Sadly. Okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's showing this red light. I have never played with this yet. It is making noise, though. Let me see. Yeah, it is just beeping, so I am not sure. Sadly, I cannot show it to you guys. I think that it needs new batteries. I don't have, I must not have strong enough batteries. Oh my goodness. So sorry, you guys, that I can't do it. Uh, let's try the CDs or okay. see if another, if we do have the low batteries. Let's... I guess I need newer batteries. I don't, I've never actually played around with this, so I don't know if it needs. Yeah, it's just basically doing the little red blinking light. Oh, gosh, yeah. It is doing this little okay. light. Let me go get some batteries. So just in case you didn't know, that is what <laughs> it basically needs when it's flashing this red button. It needs new batteries. So sadly, we'll have to test that out another day. <laughs> you need um, three AA batteries. So I'm Yeah, those are not included. Of course, it is so sad that they don't include batteries, but it's understandable. Robin says, yes, it would be nice. It looks like two chairs would fit. Yeah, I know. It looks perfectly fine. Like, there is so much space for two chairs. And Robin said, oh, that's okay. Thanks, Robin. Sorry that you guys can't hear it. We did play it in our live stream. I didn't want to kind of check out all the different sounds. So I'll have to, maybe we'll do another video of that. But here is the computer screens. Let me turn this off. There we go. So this is how the computer screens look. And I think these are really cute computer, computer screens. This is so cute. Ava says, does the mouse click? Yes, it does, Ava. Hold on, let me see if I can get it to over here. Yeah, you can, you can sort of hear it. It does do a small little faint click, and I think that's so adorable. Let me see if this is... And it's really cool because you could remove it from the base of the little little keyboard. And I think that's so nice. Um, so, yeah, that's all the little um, screen screens for the computer. I love how cute they are. Oh, you do? Okay, well, let's see if those work. Let's see if they... We might have found some batteries. Hold on. Let me just move this over there. There you go, Moni. I might, because uh, someone said online when they showed it that they had to have new, brand new batteries because some people have used, and uh, I've heard this from other collectors, that they used used batteries or not fully new batteries and it would not work for them. So I, I should have, I forgot completely, so we're going to have to get some new batteries, but it's, it's totally fine. So we're going to have to, unfortunately, maybe show that in another video, but it's totally fine. This is the desk. This is really cute. I'm glad we got to open it with you guys and kind of talk about it. This is really adorable. I think this is personally their best item. I did like their bedroom accessories, but I think that they kind of did a better job with the computer desk than their bedroom accessories. I just love this way more. It's so cute. And... I just love, I think this is so cute. And we have a time, I think, to open like maybe one or two more outfits. So let's go ahead, since we have the desk, let's go ahead and open Nikki's skateboarding outfit. Let me know in the comments which outfit was your favorite or do you wish they had other outfits? Me personally, I did like this outfit, but I think it would have been cool, again, to have American Girl Today outfits or at least something else. They only got this, they only got one outfit each and then their pajamas, which was really sad. I wish they had gotten more, but it's okay. What are you going to do? Hopefully the next release, they'll just do a bunch of more Nikki and Isabel items, as well as other historicals that need some attention. Let me know in the comments, for those of you watching, let us know which historical you want to get new items first. I would like to see more items, personally, for a lot of characters. I think Mary Ellen... Also, some of the characters that got cubed, unfortunately, I'd love to see more pieces, but we won't, sadly. This is the skateboard, and it has this really cool plaid, and it has this really cute smiley face. Yin and yang, you got some hearts, and then on the bottom, you got alien. And they have yellow wheels, and they actually move. They really...
can go back and forth. Then you have these clear straps that are not elastic or anything, so they're not going to break over, you know, over stretching. Because I have seen that before, American Girl would use elastic across the skateboard, and I think this is much better. So they did a good job on the skateboard. It actually looks really realistic. And look, against the desk, like this is her bedroom. Even though it's, oh, it, it fell. Here we have the red shoes. These are like red canvas shoes. I think these are adorable. I think these would look great on, this outfit in general actually would work perfectly for a Truly Me Boy or Logan. And I think these shoes are really nice. It says American Girl on there. And then here we have the puffy vest. And it has a couple colors. It's dark blue, light blue, yellow, and that interesting red. I think that's like a berry red. And Ava says, I like the tennis outfit. And Ava says, cool skateboard. Yeah, the skateboard's really cool. And the tennis outfit is really nice. I like the tennis outfit too. But sadly, since the little sweater vest isn't separate, I don't really think it's worth the price personally. So I will definitely be waiting for a, for a sale for that. And my mom is in the chat. She's thanking everyone for joining us. Yeah, thank you for joining our live stream. Really appreciate you guys, even if it's just a few of you joining or asking questions, or just hanging out with us. We love to chat with you guys. Sorry that the computer didn't work for the live stream, but it's okay, we're gonna continue on. Here's the red t-shirt, and I really like that this is plain because you could totally mix it, mix and match this with any item. And last, I believe, besides the pamphlet, you have this adorable overalls and these are really nice and long. They have this really nice hardware, which is metal. These are not plastic. I believe because yeah I think they're metal because they don't feel plastic and it's really nice hardware on the straps and then you have this really it just looks really nice you even have pockets this is just so cute I saw this in person I thought wow this is really nice quality it reminds me of a lot of older outfits they used to do this it is just so cute and this is just really long overalls but they're really cool Robin says, I would like to see an everyday outfit for Claudie. Oh my gosh, that would be adorable. I would love to see more outfits for Claudie, like maybe a school outfit, a lot of people were saying, or a birthday outfit. It's kind of sad because American Girl doesn't do that anymore, where they kind of had a set really, or a set outfit that you kind of could expect. But I do think it's still nice to see that they still do care about the historical line. They are doing that. Robin says, that does look nice. Yeah, it looks really cool. I really think that this is one of the... I mean, personally, I think this is be better done than Isabel's outfit just because they didn't make her... I don't know what happened with Isabel. Even her meat outfit was not separate, the sweater. Here you have Nikki pamphlet, and it ha shows her on the skate park, which is really cute. And then on the inside, it shows a picture from her journal. And it says, sick moves. And then I believe this is just like skateboard terminology and then on the other side you have the answers just in case you're not you know you don't know about skateboarding I don't so I would need those answers <laughs> personally I think this is really cool though that they always going to include the pamphlets I know I've said this a couple times but I think that's so cool because it's something interesting and different and also I think it's interesting when they maybe put some like history or facts on there and you can kind of learn something new because it's kind of like the book sometimes you don't know and you're like hey I learned something new about history Robin says it would have been nice if the sweater was separate too yeah I kind of am sad about Isabel's outfits <laughs> Isabel's outfits were just so disappointing yeah, they were. I just think that if they made all of her like sw I don't know it was also you know what's weird is that both of them were sweaters like her meat outfit was a sweater vest and then her her tennis outfit had a sweater part to it, and I think it was just so sad. Here's everything that is included with Miss Nikki's skateboarding outfit. Oh, and Robin, since you got the twins, let me know if you're going to rename your twins, or are you going to keep them Nikki and Isabel? Because I did rename my twins, and I just, I think a lot of people were disappointed in the names. And let... Oh, did you get it to work? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, it still so. does show the red light, so yeah. it's kind of what, but does it, it just, it does still work? Yeah. Okay, Let's we see. did, man, my mom did manage <laughs> to find batteries. Let's see if I can. Okay. Isabel, 
Okay, so this does actually work. Let's see. Okay, so this is the computer. Let's try this one more time. Let me see. Let me see if I can get the sound. What does a cow sit on? A cow. <laughs> it has some little jokes. That's so cute. Let's send an email to American Girl. Maybe they'll put us in the magazine. That is so adorable. We didn't hear any of these sounds. Isabel, come take this quiz I think I heard that one at the American Girl store. The American Girl's collection. I want to see the Kirsten stuff. Oh, hey, the Kirsten oh, stuff. Oh, that might be a little, uh, a little Easter, Easter egg. Yeah, a little sneak peek. Yeah. Wow, I did not hear that one at the store. Oh my Hope goodness. you guys can hear that. Hey, it's my turn. Stop hogging the computer. Hey, Nikki, check this out. What's a dog's favorite food? Popcorn. <laughs> oh the batteries are dying again sadly so we're gonna have to come back to that computer but hopefully you heard the one about kirsten i think that is so interesting i did not hear that one at the store some people have said that there's so many sounds i don't actually know how many sounds it makes here you hear some different sounds right you hear it? Oh, this is the this is the uh, albums for Nikki and Isabel. You can kind of hear it's different. This, I don't know if this is Isabel's or Nikki's. I feel like it's Nikki's. Oh, and it's dead again. <laughs> so yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get new batteries. But that was really interesting hearing about the Kirsten. I think that is really cool that they mentioned Kirsten. Robin's answered, I am going to keep them Nikki and Isabel. Okay, that is totally fine. Some people don't like changing their dolls, their dolls who are historical, their names. And I think that, that they're cute names, but... Oh, this is another one working. This is how it used to sound. This is the other one. We heard this one in the store. And it just, it, it's interesting. It, the batteries, I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully it's nothing wrong with the computer, but I believe it's just the batteries. They need new batteries. So if you buy this, you definitely need new batteries. We didn't, we found out the hard way, sadly. Also, Robin said, I love how it sounds. Ooh, one of them likes Kirsten. Yeah, I think that's so cute. I would love to know which doll is their favorite. They didn't really say, I did take a look at the journals. They didn't say anything in the journals about really American Girl characters like you know like the historicals the only time they mentioned it was when nikki was reading addie learns a lesson which is so adorable that they Aww. mentioned addie but they didn't mention anything else besides the girl today i would love to know if they had favorite historical characters and also i'd love to find out if the meat books are different from the journals because i was thinking about the journals and i was wondering if the journals were different from the meat book Yeah, I think it just does it once and then stops. It's okay. We'll have to go over mm -hmm. that again yeah. later. There you go, mm -hmm. Mommy. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so that was the computer. Sadly, you do need fresh batteries just in case you don't have to wear. I did not know that. And, I, of course, I forgot that it needed batteries in the first place. But it's okay. What are you going to do, you know? Mm -hmm. So we'll have to take a look at that in another video. Oh, okay, get it out. I'll get this so that was the skateboarding outfit. The skateboarding outfit is adorable. This is so cute. And the desk itself is cute. I'm glad we were able to open it and we learned something new about the batteries. That we definitely need batteries that are fresh, sadly. But it's okay because it still is a cute prop. I would think that the sounds is part of it, but the way they did all the details is amazing. And I think that these sounds add to it. It makes it a oh, lot definitely. nicer. Robin says the names you pick are nice too. Thank you, Robin. We really thought I thought Anna and Annalise was cute and they kind of sounded similar but different. And Robin says, when is the new store opening by you? We did find out about that. We hope to make a video about that kind of a little construction update. It is supposed to supposedly they told us either April or June. We're not really sure which one. I'm thinking June, but we just don't know. Mm -hmm. Because they said like it was gonna open last year and it did not <laughs> so i don't know if that's true or how how they're going to you know like if you know when they're going to open it exactly so we are uh, thank you all for joining us we have done our oh, okay 
We have done our putting together the desk, and we have done the skateboarding outfit. We're going to now open some more Truly Me outfits. Thank you for sticking around. So sorry that the computer did not work. Oh, here, you want to try this on? Can you get, are you able to get to a boy doll? Yeah. Okay, you want to okay, try this yeah, on a little a boy doll? We're going to try the skateboarding outfit on a boy doll. I think that'd be so cute. Let's see, which outfit would you guys like to see? We have the Truly Me accessories. I've never opened these. I have thought maybe we would get them, you know, when I got the new Truly Me dolls from Amazon, but they didn't come with accessories, so I got them much later than I expected. Or the Fun in the City travel outfit. Let us know which one you guys want to see. The desk is just really nice. I would just give this piece a 10 out of 10, except for the battery part. But, you know, they do tell you <laughs> that you do need batteries, and I just I don't they read. I had batteries, I just, though, yeah, honestly, I know. But... It would have been nice to have mm -hmm. batteries, but I just don't. I don't read the packaging, and I should have read the oh, okay. packaging part, but it's totally fine. And also, I had I heard from other Instagrammers that you need fresh batteries, because a lady was actually running into that trouble, and I thought... I thought, oh, because no, she couldn't figure out why, and I think later on she said it was fresh batteries, and then that totally slipped my mind. <laughs> and I, I, it's good to know that when you need new batteries, it flashes red. But the computer is just so cute. I definitely think that the computer set is, again, I've said this, the best piece from their, their collection, and I think that though my only complaint is the chair. It needs to. Yes. So let us know your thoughts about the desk. What did you guys think? Do you think it's cool? Will you get it in the future? Or do you just like to admire it from afar? Because I know some of the bigger <laughs> sets are very expensive. Yeah. How much was... I don't remember how much the desk was. I think it was... 148 or 145 It was close to 150 So that is kind of pricey. But I think since it's wood and you can totally remove everything, that it is worth the price. Plus the computer, I think, is the main factor why it's so expensive. The, all the sounds, the lights, and I just think that it's so cute. So many details. I hope to hear all the little sounds that it makes, but I'll have to pick up some batteries. Robin says, maybe the travel outfit, and I like the Truly Me code too. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the World Traveler Fun in the City travel outfit. This is really cute. I think, I'm not sure. I cannot decide which is our, my favorite between the city outfit or the hit the slopes. My mom likes the hit the slopes the best. <laughs> I'm not sure out of these two. Or even this one's nice, the bathing suit that they made. I can't remember what the bathing suit's called, but the bathing suit's actually really nice. I love that hat. So which, which one is your guys' favorite out of the three? Or did you like none of them? Because I know some people weren't too thrilled and they were like, uh, I kind of miss the world travel outfit, so... I was, like, surprised that they decided to do that as well. Let's see if I can get this open. And uh, thank you, everyone, for sticking around and chatting with us. We love ch chatting with you guys and hanging out. If you guys also have any questions about any of the outfits I opened or maybe the items, we would be open to answering your questions. So first, we have the jacket. Ooh, this is a nice jacket. I really like how it feels. Feels kind of like, kind of like the items that are made from a suit. I don't know what type of fabric that is. And it has rolled up sleeves that are sewn. And then you have this really nice flared out collar. This is really nice. Cute. And on the back, the pattern continues. I guess this is like, I know this is like, I believe this is impersonating houndstooth. I believe that this mm, is kind of what like it's, it, it's yeah. looking like. And I think houndstooth is cool. And I think this is interesting how they made this a different color. You also have this really nice skirt. It does have fake pockets. They aren't real. Then you have these faux, bu faux buttons. Excuse me. You have faux buttons, and there's four of them. And they're a really nice shape as well. And there's Velcro on the back of that. This is not elastic, so that's Velcro. That's nice. Let me just see if I can put them to the side. Robin says, I like the snowsuit best out of the travel outfits. Yeah, my mom totally agrees with that one. <laughs> that is, I, I like it, but I just can't decide which one is my favorite. I love both of them. I don't think I could choose a favorite, to be honest. But I do love the color pink of that snowsuit. Robin says, oh, wow, that is nice, too. Yeah, this is really actually decent quality. Next, you have a t-shirt that says Adventure. And it has a little globe that has some light colors. you got some purple and some, I guess, like aqua in there. And... 
it's really nice it's kind of like a tank top so like an undershirt i kind of wish that they didn't do a graphic but i understand why because they have done plain tank tops so they're trying to make it different next you have these really nice white boots Ooh, these are really cool they're like i don't know they just feel like a soft faux leather they're like very soft and movable and just like i like these i don't know why they don't have a Velcro, surprisingly, so maybe that's why they're soft faux leather, so you can stretch them over the doll's foot. We'll have to see how hard that is. And they do have a heel, so whenever my our dolls are on heels, they always fall forward. <laughs> it's kind of, it, it's funny, and then it's like, and then it's sad when they fall. Here we have the purse, and this is a really nice sparkly black purse, and it's got two... I guess strips of purple ribbon so you have to be careful with that ribbon because this will snag if it gets on velcro and I love that they included a metal chain for this purse this is really cool and I just love the glitter on this purse this is really nice and it goes all the way on the round on the back and it opens so you can put whatever you want inside and it says American Girl of course here we have these sunglasses let me get them out of the packaging hold on Opening the packaging is always the, it takes the longest. Robin says, that would look nice on Courtney. Yeah, actually it probably would because it feel, uh, she has a lot of purple in her collection. So that probably would look really nice on Courtney. Here's the sunglasses and they're just your average sunglasses and they're in the color kind of to match the little, what is that? Little suit or little, mm -hmm. yeah, the little suit. And I think that's cute. I really love a good pair of sunglasses. It's always nice to get different colors because sometimes when American Girl makes these outfits, they give you the same color over and over again, and it can kind of get annoying. I believe <laughs> the pamphlet is the same as the one for the fun and the slopes. Yes, it's completely the same, so this is identical to the other one. Let me see here. Yep, that was it. Oh, here it is. Whoopsie. Yep, this is the exact same as the other one. So they are completely the same. These are the Isabel and Nikki ones. Diana said, it looks like this is good quality. Yeah, it's actually pretty decent quality. I was actually quite surprised. Robin says, those glasses kind of look like Isabel's. Yeah, they actually do look like something Isabel would wear or Courtney. I feel like the colors are very, you could totally use this for di various different dolls in your collection. Historical or, or truly me, because this could be for historical dolls. I think Courtney could rock it, to be honest. I don't know if they had any. <laughs> I feel like they had something like that in the 80s, so it probably would work fine. And I think that this is a really cute outfit. I think that Isabel or Courtney would look great in it. I don't know who I would choose to put in it because, honestly, any doll would look cute in it, to be honest. Let's see if I can get this out. Okay, so here we have the phone case and the phone. This is the phone. Let's see if I can get closer. It's basically like a black phone, nothing special about it. It does say made in China on the back, okay. And then it goes, you can remove it from the case if you like, but it goes inside. Oh, wait, hold on. I believe it has, it has these little cards. Let me see if I can get this out. This is one of the things about American Girl that I love, but at the same time, I dread taking all the packaging <laughs> off. You want I love help? no, I got it. I, I love that American Girl used packaging, but it just takes a while. So here you have two little screens. Let me see if I can show you both. On this one, will it focus? On this one, it says pass. Oh, oh. Hold on, passport, shampoo, lotion, toothpaste, toothbrush, lip gloss, water bottle, sunglasses, hat, and shoes. That says packing checklist. And then on the other side, I believe, ooh, ooh, our little, I don't know what that's called. That's called like little little photos from around the world. Uh, tourist photos? No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, I guess something right. like that. And that's really cute. On the other. Oh, postcards. Oh, postcards. It kind of looks like maybe. postcards. Oh, yes. But maybe it's places the doll has visited. You never know, you know, because she could you know, have more money than a lot of people and visited, wow, she visited a lot of places, it looks like. 
And then here we have the, I guess you call this home screen. And this is so cute. It has a map and it has American Girl app. That's cute. And it shows a battery percentage. I hope you guys can see that. Sorry, it's just hard to focus because it's so tiny. Yeah, there you go. It's sort of focused. And then on the other side, it says book flights. That is so cute. So which one should we put in her phone? Let's put the one with the screen. If I can get this open. So basically the phone opens. If you don't know, the phone opens and then you put it in there. And you can put the other one in there too so it doesn't get lost. And then you close it. Supposed to. There we go. See? And you can keep it perfectly safe because you have to be careful with those things because once you get them wet or ripped or something then it's destroyed so what's cool is that you can keep both in there if you want to change it up you could later all you have to do is remove this silicone case then the silicone case snaps on the phone easily it's kind of like a regular phone for humans but it's tinier and it doesn't work this says travel this is so cute and it has a little airplane with a heart that is adorable and it has a little holder in the back so the doll's hand can go through there also, you can make some copies just in case it might get wet or something. Just for your own. Yeah, that's a great idea. Robin says that outfit really comes with a lot of things. Yeah, this is what surprised me about these World Traveler outfits. Actually, I think that they were made really nicely. Some of the Truly Me outfits, no offense to American Girl, they've been making, <laughs> and they're just, they're not as good of quality as they usually make. And I think that this, both of the World Travel outfits, I'm not sure about the bathing suit, but both of the two that we showed are really good. Would you like to see the doll? Yeah, let me move this stuff out of the way. We're going to show the skateboarding outfit. My mom put it on two different dolls so you could get some mix and match ideas. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, let's see. Let's go up here. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Where, where, who do we have first? Okay, we have Logan. And we have him in, he's in a Illy outfit. That was stitch. So, that because in this set, you do not get a helmet unless you buy the skateboard set. Yeah, the skate park and the tennis mm -hmm. court, which is really weird that you don't even get little knee pads or elbow pads. You just get the skateboard, and that's about it. Well, uh, well this is actually a different one. This is not the uh, Nikki's, but this is the Illy one. It says wild when it has stitch and it has pink wheels. And this is really cute. And the helmet, just in case, I have not shown this. It has a little stitch paw. And then on the back, on the side, it says 626. But this would be a great alternative if you don't want to go ahead and spend that 100 plus And you want to get the helmet. So this is just as cute. Yeah, this is our Logan doll. He's re renamed Lewis. And here we have a Carmen, who is our Maritza World by Us doll. Um, let's see if I can, hold on, let me take her, well, here's her feet so you can see this, and then I'll take it off so you can see her. That's yeah, a she, nice thing, because it, the doll's able to stay in place. Yeah, on this one, you can't. <laughs> that one is not, you're just gonna have to, oh, there go her sunglasses. Let's see, let me see if I can put her on this one. Yeah, on this one, you can see, oh, sorry, <laughs> she's slapping Lewis. This one, you can see that she fits on the skateboard, but she does, she will not stay. So here she is in this one. She's going to completely just... Oh, she's, she's... And she looks really cute with the little vest and the t-shirt on. Oh, she's going to... She's just going to, like, totally, like, dive on, on uh, the whole set and Lewis because she cannot stand. She is such a beautiful doll, but she has really long hair, so she sometimes has problems standing, but she is so cute. And I really like these overalls because you could totally mix and match them with other dolls as well as using it for your boy dolls. And she looks cute. Oh, oh, she's going to fall. There she goes. Robin says, that is nice that it holds the feet. Yeah, I think that the skateboard, they did. I remember, I don't know if any of you have seen American Girl skateboards before, but they have done elastic in the past, and, you know, that does get kind of old, and it doesn't stretch anymore. So I think this is better because it's, like, soft plastic. I, I guess soft rubber. I'm not sure what you call that, but it's great. And this is it compared, just in case, to the Illy version. 
It actually looks pretty good. Like the Illy one, for being the price that it was, it's actually pretty nice compared to the AG one. Of course, there's more details in AG as always, but it's still like if you don't have, you know, if you don't want to spend all your, you know, dolly money on American Girl, you could <laughs> do Illy. And that's actually a pretty decent size. And it does come with pads also. Yeah, which is really weird that Nikes did not because you would expect it to come with knee pads or something, but that it only didn't. comes with the skate park. So, okay, so you want to try this outfit on Miss Annalise there? Okay. And then why don't we move these two off? So sorry, they look adorable, but that was it makes them match, and I think they look really cute with the different options. I really think my favorite piece, though, is the overalls. I don't know why. I loved all overalls. Every time a <laughs> historical comes with them, I don't know why. They're just so cute. There you go. Okay. And then we have the two Truly Me outfits. And I know, Robin, you said you wanted to see the coat, which is the show your strong side accessory. So we're going to take a look at that while my mom dresses Annalise in the, I believe it's called Fun in the City outfit. Let's see if I can move this over. I have a lot of stuff on set right now. Also, also, let me know in the chat. Like, when you open stuff, do you like to clean up immediately? Or do you just like to play with your things and then you forget to clean up later? <laughs> I sometimes am guilty of playing with my items and then I don't put anything away. Which is bad, especially when you have a lot of dolly items. You need to kind of stay organized. It's sometimes... It's sometimes hard also to stay organized for American Girl. Here we have the coat, and this is adorable. I said this in the beginning. I think this is great for the boy dolls, the girl dolls. And it just reminds me of a real coat that you would actually wear in real life, especially right now because it's freezing. <laughs> and this is like, I don't know what it's called. Um, I believe it's like a puffer jacket or a puff jacket. Puff, puffer? I don't know. But uh, it has these really nice rib sleeves. So it's a different material. And then this is puffy all the way on the sleeves. And then it kind of like has elastic in the chest. And then there's a yellow star as well as a star zipper that goes all the way down. Robin says, yes, I do that too. Ava says, I have to clean up after unboxing. <laughs> yeah, I have to... I am understandable cleaning on unboxing because... You have to stay organized because it can stack up after a while. And American Girl dolls, sometimes there's so many little items that you have to keep track of all their items after you unbox stuff. So that is smart, Ava, that you have to clean up after unboxing. I try to do that, but sometimes I don't, sadly. Robin says, wow, I really like that. And Ava says, I love the jacket. Yeah, the jacket is a really nice quality, and I waited for a while to get it. And I'm glad I did end up getting it because I don't want it to retire I don't think it will retire until they revamp the accessories again, but you never know because sometimes American Girl just randomly is like, oh, that's gone, and you're like, what? <laughs> so that's the jacket, and then you have the yellow beanie. Now, this I'm not, like, that thrilled about because I personally would have liked to see something else. Like, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I think it's cute, but it's just not my taste personally, but I do think that this would look good on, um, again, boy or girl dolls, and it is rolled up. And I think, I don't know, I'm not sure what could have come with it, but I just, I'm, I'm not too thrilled about the beanie. And then you have these sunglasses. These are just plain black sunglasses. These are really cute. I think that in this one, I really like that the hat and the Fitbit or, well, watch. I'm not sure if it's Fitbit or watch, but I think that it would have been cool for these two accessories to come with the coat. I personally just think that would have been better because I think these are accessories are my favorite and the pants are just kind of meh. It's it's kind of weird. Ava says I have all their clothes in organized drawers. That is a great idea, uh, Ava. We do the same thing. We organize their clothes by drawers, and then sometimes we have bins. It really depends on how much clothes they have. Sometimes you have oh, to do it. And... Yeah, exactly. You have to have different things. You have to have different bins for how how big their collection is because sometimes we put them in b boxes if they're like seasonal and then we have the drawers for like characters robin says it looks like that will match the pants yeah i believe that is what it was meant for i from what i get 
So we're going to put this on the doll in a second. We have too many. We're getting a, too many. We need a third person. <laughs> right now we're getting backed up. So sorry, Lonnie. That's okay. We're going to open this while we wait. I don't know why they also... You know what's weird is they make you buy other accessories because this is pants and then you want to get the jacket. Mm. It's just hilarious. Mm -hmm. It's sad, too. But this is also show your sporty side accessories. So what's interesting is they're both... Wait, no, no, no. Let me see. No. This is show your sporty and this is show your strong. I always forget. So strong and sporty is what I got. And they are not the same thing. So I thought they were. I don't know why. So here are the pants. The pants are really adorable. They kind of look like they would match the jacket perfectly, like you said, Robin. It has a yellow stripe on both sides and elastic cuff at the bottom of the leg and then you have elastic on the top so you can put it on your doll's waist easily and it looks like it's actually you don't even need a shirt but I think I mean I would obviously prefer a shirt but it would look perfect with this like you would just go jogging in that go <laughs> and I think that is really cool that's how it looks with the jacket and then the beanie even looks like it would go with it so I'm gonna have to put that on the doll here we have the adorable baseball cap now this is my favorite piece of this set personally i think they need to make more baseball caps like they did for nikki for her girl the today hat with the logo and i, I just think this is so cute it has a crown little lightning bolt little heart and a diamond this is really cute and then on the back is like netting and then elastic so you can easily put over the doll's head and a clear american girl tag then the last accessory you have, I don't know if this is supposed to be a Fitbit or a watch. Oh, it's it's not focusing. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. It says the time and it says it has a little Wi-Fi signal. It is like really hard to see that. Hold on. Let me see if I can. There we go. A little better. There it goes. It shows your heart rate or like your, I believe that's heart rate is what the watches do these days. And also how many miles you've walked. That is so hilarious for your dolls. They don't walk anywhere. We carry them <laughs> everywhere, but that's a nice detail. That's so cute. Mm, okay. Okay. Hold on. We're going to show the fun in the city outfit. Oh, Robin says, I like those too. Yeah. The pants are really cool. So let's go ahead and show this. Oh, here she comes. Here comes Annalise. Hold on. Let me see if she can stand and also move the... Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Let's move this to the side. Oh, she looks really cute in this outfit. I can't even... Also, I balanced her. She, she's not going to fall. Wow. She looks really <laughs> cute in this outfit. This is adorable. My mom dressed her, and I love this purse, how this purse looks hanging. That is a really cute. Oh, let's move the skateboards over. Whoop, whoop. So you can see everything. Here you go, Molly. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And that looks really cute on her, just in case you're curious, because some people said that this would probably work for her on when we did our store tour. Someone in the live stream said, one of our viewers, and I thought, that is so true, because it's her, like, she loves the mm -hmm. lighter purple color. And I think this also is fancy, kind of like a, what's that called? Like a, like a chic look for her. I think this, maybe this could go even... Yeah, we did put the sweater on her before, and it looked adorable. Maybe it would look cute with the t-shirt. That is really adorable. So that is Miss Annalise, even with her little necklace. Oh, there's the shoes, just in case you were curious. And I really love the phone as well. So she looks so cute. Oh, let's see if we can remove the sunglasses so you can see her pretty eyes. And let's put them on top of her head. Oh. Okay, let's move her to the side so you can see her eyeballs. Oh. Okay, there she is, just in case you want to see without the sunglasses. I really think that the sunglasses add a lot, but, you know, if you want to see the doll's adorable face. This is a really cute outfit, actually, on her. I think that is so cute. Here, you want to dress Miss Anna in the sporty? Mm -hmm. She would look adorable. So we're going to dress, hey, she hasn't appeared in this video. Here's Anna, her <laughs> sister. And she's going to be dressing in the strong and sporty side items i don't know if you need a shirt oh she has a shirt on oh that's perfect yeah. so she's she's kind of she's a little jealous right now she's a little jelly she hasn't had any <laughs> outfits on so she's gonna go by her sister i think this is her final outfit for the stream because i think she looks really cute in this outfit let me know in the comments which outfit you liked on annalise best was it claudie's the fun in the slopes or this one robin says 
Oh, wow, that's nice for her. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. And Robin also said whether well, she's easy to get on. Oh, were they? Mom? Yes, they were. Okay, they so were yeah, they were easy. easy so I kind Easier of... than the snow ones. Oh, that's but the, But the snow ones weren't hard. It's just they were the easier. The Velcro didn't help? No? No, I mean, oh, those so were a lot were, like, easier. Stretchy? Yeah, those oh, were stretchy. That is so really nice. weird. Yeah, so maybe yeah. I have experienced that with boots before where when they're stretchy, they're way easier than the Velcro. I don't know why. But she looks really cute in this. Oh my gosh. And by her computer desk, let's move her over so you can see her desk. The desk that her hair and her sister share. Oh, there you go. We're going to put her sunglasses over here. I actually like the outfit without the sunglasses, but it looks adorable with the sunglasses. Okay. What do we have left? Wow, we really had a lot of items to open. Also, it was really interesting seeing these items on the twins because a lot of these items are considered not, they're not considered to me, but they're considered like an older release and people kind of forgot about these items. <laughs> sometimes that's what's bad about American Girl. Sometimes they would do so many releases and then people kind of forget or they're like, they don't remember which outfits came out or they don't like, oh, someone was talking about it. They said that when new releases happens, you forget like the doll, the, uh, the other <laughs> dolls immediately. And that's sad because I think you should like, you know, m use some of the new outfits on the older dolls or maybe mm -hmm. use outfits that are not released when their dolls are released for them. I think it looks cool. Has anybody guessed which doll we got? Robin says, I like this one best on her. Yes, she looks Aww. really cute. And Ava says she looks cool. Yeah, I think Annalise looks adorable in this outfit, and I think Anna will look cute in the sporty and strong side accessories. We're going to move her back so you can see her better. I think the colors look really nice on her. Let's see if I can move her closer so you can see the jacket on her. This is kind of the color. Sorry, the lighting is off in here. For whatever reason, I keep getting shadows, but this is how she looks in this outfit, and I think this is cute. And even if you didn't like the t-shirt, you could totally do a plain t-shirt, and then you would have a different look. So, who is ready for the Truly Me doll? Any last guesses who we got? Now, this is not my first Truly Me doll. As I said, I don't know if you guys were here for the beginning of the live stream, but... I did get some Truly Me dolls for Christmas. I got a total of four, and my mom got them from the Amazon, I believe it was Cyber Monday, right? Mm -hmm. The Cyber Monday sale, yes. and they were an amazing deal, and it was just awesome that I got so many at once, and we waited. Uh, they were released, what, I can't remember when they released, but we waited a while. I believe they were released in the summer. I can't remember. Summer of last year, and then we waited until Cyber Monday, which was, it was actually better to wait because spending retail for those dolls would be quite a lot. So let me know if you guys have any guesses as to who we got. She was back ordered for a while. Also, she is now marked limited quantities. So we wanted to get her before she would, I don't know, retire because I have seen limited quantities on dolls before, and then they just disappear. Like that happened with uh, Miguel. Yeah, Miguel, he is true. Oh, my goodness. I think he's truly me 76. 76. Yeah, 76. And I think that also happened with truly me 86, which is the one with purple hair, which in our collection she's named Aurora. So that happens sometimes with limited quantity dolls, and you're like, what happened? Let me go back to... Let me see here if I can... So, any guesses? Anyone? Anyone at all? Oh, there goes her phone. <laughs> Let's okay. see. I think she's ready. Oh, she's ready? Okay, we're going to show Nick, uh, Miss, I'm sorry, I said her name wrong already. We're going to show Miss <laughs> Anna. So the phone just fell out of her hand. What the heck? This happens during doll, this is what happens during doll shoots, but no one sees behind the scenes how many times something drops. There we go. She's fixed. Okay, you want to show her? I'll move over mm -hmm. Miss, Miss, um, Miss Mystery Doll. She's just going to stay here and look cute. Okay, you want to move Nikki in here? You want to mm -hmm. move her in here? Oh my goodness, look at how cute Miss Anna looks. Oh my gosh, it, it's actually perfect for her because she has that kind of sporty mm -hmm. kind of feel because she's a skateboarder. Look at how adorable. Oh my goodness. Of course, this hat, of course, looks so adorable on her because she is a baseball hat girl, and look at how cute this jacket looks on her. Hold on, let me move her. Let me see if I can get the camera to go further back so you can see her. Let's see. 
can you see? Oh, there you go. There's the full look. So sorry. And she, uh, the shoes she's wearing comes with her meat outfit, just in case you were curious. And she just looks so adorable. Oh my goodness. Robin says, oh, that looks perfect. Oh, and we have some guesses. Diana says 112, 116, or 92. Oh, Diana, you were almost close on one of those numbers, but no. <laughs> Robin says 118, 124, nope. And Diana says 106. All of those were no. Those were good guesses. I, I can't, I, it's hard to memorize these numbers, but I believe, which one's 112? I feel like I... I feel like I heard of 112, but I know that she's not 112. Okay, this is what she looks like with the yellow cap. Oh, my goodness. Oops, hang on. Oh, she disappeared. <laughs> Hold on for five seconds. Okay, oh, she looks cute. I love this one on her. Oh, my goodness. That is adorable, too. Let us know in the chat. Which one do you like best, the baseball cap or the beanie? Actually, this makes me like the beanie. I actually take back what I said. It looks adorable <laughs> on her. And what's also cool is if you wanted to, you could totally take um, grin pins, AG grin pins, and pin them on the hat. Mm -hmm. That might look cool. So there's the two siblings. We have Anna and Annalise. Oops. Oh. Okay. It's okay. She looks adorable. And I, I think, think that... Like... Robin says that beanie. Isn't the beanie cute? Actually, I did not think it was that cute. And it actually looks really adorable now. And with her highlights... It looks adorable. Okay, so you want to go ahead. We're going to move these twins over so we can open our doll. Mm -hmm. We have been holding off for opening her. Let's just move Miss Isabel over here. You can put Nikki up there. Okay. Or actually, no, because they probably won't be safe. No, no, they probably, they, will they fit? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So let us reveal her. It is 117. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Now, this one I wanted when, as soon as I saw that it was a Mary Grace face mold and it was darker as well as, she just kept selling out. She kept being back ordered. She was just like always back ordered. And I just think she's adorable. Let's get the box open. Let's go down here. Oh, sorry. We're running into everything. Let's go down. Let me know in, let us know in the chat, which Truly Me doll do you s still have on your wish list? Or maybe that you got recently that you are really, really excited about. Because I know a lot of people got all the Truly Me's. Some people got the Truly Me's all retail and I, I totally, I'm like, wow. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. I'm excited for them, but like shocked at how much money that would be. And I think it was really cool getting the Amazon Cyber Monday deal for my other dolls. And then as well as this one, that was another thing about Amazon is they did not have 117. Right? They didn't have it? Yeah. They didn't oh, no. She, she was not available. available. As well as another doll. I can't remember who it was. Um, It was, was it the, the African-American male doll with girls. Oh, okay. It was both boys. Yeah. Do you want me to help you with that? Yeah. You got scissors? I, yeah. I can never get these things. Thank you, Lonnie. Okay. Got this part off. Oh, you, you took the scissors over oh, there, did? Yeah. Oh, here they are. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Ava says, cool. And Robin says, I'd like to get 122. Yeah, 122 is adorable. Unfortunately, I haven't shown her in any videos. So I really need to because she is so cute. Diana says, cute. I love her. Mary Grace mold. I think I'm I'm getting coffee because of the medium skin tone of the Mary Grace face mold. Coffee is pretty nice, though. When we took a look at her in person... I thought she was really cute. Yeah, I think I think Covey is actually a really cute doll. I'm it, sorry, Covey. No, it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's, she's a cuter doll in person. I think sometimes from online pictures we can kind of be like, eh. But, but she's really cute. She's actually a lot cuter because we saw her recently. Uh, I can't remember. We, we were... When we went there. Well, yeah, that's right. We went there for the twins. Hello. <laughs> for the twin <laughs> release. And I thought that she was actually a lot cuter in person. Robin says, do you have a Covey? No, we do not own Covey. We kind of decided to skip out on Covey because from online, we weren't like that. We just thought she was okay. But when we saw in person, she was a lot cuter. But I just don't believe I'm going to get Covey because they released 117. And I I saw some comparison. I believe I saw 
one person compares compare her to Covey on Instagram. And I just decided to get one or the other. And I picked 117 because she has the highlights and she has curly hair. I thought that that was a really nice... Yeah, that was beautiful. It was a really nice detail and a nice thing about this doll. So we're going to go ahead and get her netting off, which is, like, really difficult sometimes. Oh. You might do it. You get it from the back. <laughs> Yeah, let us know in the chat, do you love Covey or do you like 117 better? Because since they were kind of, I mean, they're not the same doll at all because Covey has black hair and then Truly Me 117 has highlighted hair. And I believe there is a slight skin tone difference. Not huge, but slight. And we got the little wig cap off, or not wig cap, little hair net. And there she is in all of her curl glory oh my gosh her hair is incredibly soft like i've had i've had experience where i would touch the truly me's 117 at the ag place in los angeles and it was kind of scratchy but maybe because <laughs> maybe because she was out and about around children oh. look at how beautiful she looks again sorry for the shadow she has beautiful brown eyes love the highlights i'm not sure if you can tell but there's a lighter brown in with the darker brown and these curls actually are really they're actually soft and it goes like a little uh, past the waist definitely and there's just a lot of curls here so what you could do i love doing it myself is taking each curl and just finger curling them and then brushing them and making them look pretty and she looks really adorable she surprisingly has the softest hair I've felt for a Truly Me 117, so I'm happy about that. And I did buy her online, which I was very disappointed. They did not have any in the EG store at mm -hmm. the American Girl Place in LA. So I couldn't pick her out in person, but she's adorable. I'm so glad that she turned out okay. Robin says, oh, okay, I like curly hair too. Yeah, we do too. I think she looks really pretty. And Diane, Dana says, I like Kavi better online and in print i saw her in person and was very underwhelmed we had come for the twins though <laughs> so, i know we came for the twins and that's when we saw a covey for the first time yeah we did not go for a covey's release we're kind of underwhelmed when we saw it online in person i think she is slightly better but at the same time i just think at 117 i don't know i feel like she's a little bit more unique she was actually the first one to catch my eye for the Truly Me release. Uh, and Covey, a uh, Covey's hair is like about um, here. It's a yeah. bit shorter. And also it's just one color. It's black. Mm -hmm. It's like. But she black. still is a pretty doll. Yeah, she's a really nice doll. I would definitely recommend if you can see her in person. And if you can't try watching videos about her. But it really just depends on personal preference. I just think that. I don't know why. But it's interesting that they did too. Two Mary Grace face molds that almost look the same, but yeah. they just decided to do a different wig for Covey. I think that, honestly, this doll actually would have been a good choice to be Covey. But honestly, Covey is a beautiful doll also. I feel like both of them are different enough. So if you did get both, that it's okay. They could be sisters. Yeah, they could. Or they could be, oh my gosh, they could be twins like these two back here. Yeah. And I don't know if I will get Covey in the future. I might get her if she goes to the benefit sale, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe, I'm that not sure. That would be in 2024, though. Yeah, because they usually just don't have them the current year that they're on. Is anybody going to go to the benefit sale, you guys think? It, it's in June. Yeah, because the benefit sale is going, if you didn't watch our news video, it's going to be in person again. So we're not sure, we're not sure how that's going to look this year i think that i'm not sure honestly if they're going to do what they did in past years i'd love to see what people's reactions are and how what they're going to have also let me see do i have what do you need to return oh i can redress her give me uh let's do her and isabel's meat i think she would look cute redress let's try redressing her let me see if i can Get this off. Why don't you do it like this? Oh, I could do that. Yeah. Um, do you have like a shirt mm -hmm. somewhere? We're gonna just really quickly redress 117. Also, let us know in the chat some name suggestions because, of course, I have another doll to name. I know. Ask for <laughs> name suggestions for 
Miss Nikki and Isabel back there, which are Anna and Annalise. Uh, some people suggested some pretty good name, actually, for Annalise, but I just thought I want something similar to Anna, and I thought Anne, but then I thought, hey, Annalise. Uh, Robin said, I would love to go to that. I've never been to it. Are you going? Um, we're going to have to see how it goes. We'd like to, possibly. More than likely depends on what's going on in the month of June, so... Yeah, we would plan on it because uh, for us, we would have to do like a couple day drive <laughs> or we would take take a plane or a train because it's not like next door for us or a few hour drive. It is long because we drove there once and it was it was fun. How long did it? It was great. It was fun. Of it, course, took but it took us days. what, like a it's week? Days. It was like a long time. It was several it was, days. No, it was it was more than a week. It was it was so long and it was really fun to see like. Everything, especially one thing that I remember is miles of corn because you had to go through a couple places with corn. Yeah, it, and it was, was just, fun, it was it was really fun. It was really great experience. I don't know though if also if they will have the same location as previous years because they've always had the same location pretty much, and I don't know if they're they announced. It was funny they announced. I don't know if you guys know this. They announced a new location before they shut down then they shut down and we don't know what location they're going to do honestly it's kind of sad we didn't get to go to that location and it can get very humid they were gonna have air conditioning in the new location which doesn't seem like a big deal but it is because it was very humid when we went um so yeah i would love to hear you guys thoughts on any name suggestions i don't know what i should name her Maybe something, I don't know, I have no, sometimes I have, like, inspiration for names all the time, and then sometimes I don't. Like, sometimes I have no idea what to name the doll, and I'm like, I, I don't know. But I think that these two look really cute and some truly me outfits. Like, let's say you don't, you didn't like, like, uh, personally, I didn't like what Isabel's outfit was. I mean, Isabel's tennis outfit was great, but I, I think it could have been better because of the separate pieces, so I thought... That some of the Shirley Me outfits actually look really good on her. And I think that if you want some other options, look through your, you know, look through your AG closet. You might have something already in your closet that would look perfect on the twins. And a lot of people actually were bringing out their Pleasant Company items. Mm -hmm. And I wish I had more Girl of Today outfits. I just don't have a lot. So, sadly, I wish I had the ones they showed in their journals when they were wearing on New Year's. I think they need to make, remake those. The Vinyl Jumper. As well as, I forgot the other one. I believe it was the year 2000 outfit. And I think that that would be cool to see again. American Girl really needs to get with it on remaking outfits that are retired. Because a lot of people are hoping for that. And uh, I think American Girl sometimes misses opportunities. And they should bring stuff back that people want to see. There we go. Don't they look cute? Let me see if I can put her. There we go. Okay. She looks so cute. And we're just getting Miss No Name dressed. <laughs> Miss 117. 117. I'm sorry about the twins. They're kind of off camp, off center there. There we go. Okay. Robin says, yes, I noticed that too. Oh, what did you notice, Robin, about the... There's so many things. About the benefit sale or about other things? I definitely think that if... Regarding the benefit sale, I do think that it will be a great event to go to. I just don't know if they're going to change anything like they have in the past. I just hope that when they do the benefit sale, it is a, a event and it's, you know, great to go to for the collectors. And it's not like, you know there's not a ton of limits and that it's not too humid. <laughs> oh, that's right. They do have limits on dolls and things of that nature. Go back. Here we have little Miss No Name and she looks really cute in Nikki and Isabel's skirt and what is a shirt and then Nikki's dress. Yeah, this is her dress underneath the skirt. This is really cute. This is Ah, uh, these are Kira shoes. Yeah, I believe those are Kira shoes. <laughs> I have to remember. I'm like, I don't know. Those are Kira's, I believe. I don't remember the outfit. Her, it her came with her scrubs. Set. Yeah, her, her, yeah. Her, her little vet outfit type of thing. And I just think that it looks adorable on her. And I think she looks really good in purple. 
And the twins are welcoming her and saying, hello, new sister. What's up? And she looks so adorable. I am so glad that I, I got... I skin tone. I know. I am so glad that I got a really good one. And I can't wait to play around with her hair because her hair is a bit messy right now. And I just think that she has such beautiful just highlights in hair in general. Name one of... Uh, Dana says, name one of their friends from the Twins Journal. Oh, hey, that's a good idea. I forgot completely what their friends' names were. I'll have to go back and see if there's any one of them that I would like their name because I do like to sometimes uh sometimes I give my dolls names with like a lot of meaning like maybe it has something to do with their character or some name that I like that has a meaning behind it it really does depend but that's a really good idea the red vinyl jumper in the journal says Robin oh you notice that in the book I see what you're saying Robin yeah and there's also an, a, a girl of today outfit that is a tennis one. Yeah, I know. That outfit was, no offense, no offense, no offense, but it was way better than Isabel's. And I think that if they had made those pieces separate, it actually would have been better. And I also think that, I don't have the book next to me, but I do think it was cool that they showed those two girl of today outfit outfits in the books. And I just, I think the journals were very interesting, even though they didn't come with, like, meat books. The journals were something new. Would you guys, did you got any of you read the journal? What'd you guys think? I personally liked it, but also had some, <laughs> I just had some thoughts. Like, I think the journals, I don't know, I do miss the meat books, I do have to say. But they did find a way for the journals to have a look back, kind of like a history. I thought that was a smart thing that American Girl did. They didn't take out the history part. They kind of had, what they did was they had the girls write little book reports or little reports That's for cute. school. So they still had the history section. And I'm glad that they still did that because that's what makes those American Girl historical books great is the historical little, you know, look back type of thing, like facts. Uh, Robin says, yes, I think that too. Yes, I read them too. And Diana says, meet book for twins coming out soon. Yeah, I did hear about that. It is coming I think in a couple months, and it is quite sad that we had to wait that long. I'm also curious about the book, if it's different from the journals, or if it's just the same type of content. I just, I believe it's different, though. I just hope that it's an interesting read and not, like, a repeat of the journals. Diana says, I was worried, but I did like the journal for what it is. Yeah, I did like the journal. I think it was a very unique uh viewpoint from the characters but I did miss the meat books I have to say that but I did think it wasn't like a letdown I was kind of worried and I was like Ugh. but it wasn't like a huge letdown I think it was cute but I did meet the meat books when I read it but I think it was a really good standpoint and it kind of showed some American Girl of Today outfits which was really cute <laughs> and but so here's our dolls we're just kind of rambling here And also, we just have them three, and I think uh, my mom put <laughs> Miss Anna on her skateboard. There she is. She's taller now, even though Isabel's supposed to be taller. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you for being, staying this long. This video was quite longer than we expected. We had such a huge haul we wanted to share with you. It's just, we love hanging out with you and getting your reaction live, you know, or if to answer your questions. Unfortunately, we'll have to show the computer in another, maybe another live stream or just another video to show the sound, sadly, because we need fresh batteries. We'll have to check back on that. Mm -hmm. But thank you for joining us, and we hope you guys have a great day, and also stay warm out there. Bye.